Okay guys, so I am back with another Cyberpunk 2077 video. And today I bring you another top 10 facts I feel you need to know about this game. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps me and the channel out and I can't tell you how much I appreciate that support. Also if you're new around here and want to see more daily Cyberpunk videos, make sure you subscribe. And guys, stay tuned until the end to find out about my giveaway. Okay, so 10 things you need to know about Cyberpunk 2077. Now this is probably the 6th episode of this I have done so far. If you want to catch up on the others, you'll find them within a playlist linked within that video description. Okay, so let's get into it. And firstly, when engaged in dialogue or conversation with NPCs, you don't get an exit conversation since you can finish the conversation by simply walking away as you're in complete control of your character when in said dialogue. It's also said as well, characters and NPCs were never heard speaking any repeated lines of dialogue. And this makes sense when we saw those translation scripts and how much dialogue there is in this game. I'm not surprised we never hear the same lines twice. It's also said the weather effects are absolutely stunning including the lightning with the media and said people who have played it earlier saying the lightning effects are truly next level also almost everything in the trailers we have seen so far is from the prologue of this game which is pretty crazy to think about i mean we've seen quite a bit of footage gameplay footage but it's good that we know that most of that is within the start of the game it's also interesting to think about that all three life paths may lead to three mostly different game experiences for the entirety of the game. Now if you're not sure what life paths are when you start this game after you've created your character you will have to pick one of three say backstories which are the life path you can get Nomad, Corpo and Street Kid with a prologue you will have to play. And you will then skip I think it's six years into the future you'll be stripped of everything you have and you'll be dropped into Night City to start your game. Also CD Projekt Red doesn't want to encourage any specific playstyle over others this is why there will be no achievement or trophy for a pacifist or no kill run because if you do not know you can complete this entire game without killing a single soul but it said CD Projekt Red don't want to force you to play this way to get a said trophy or achievement so there's no trophy or achievement for doing it this way which is pretty cool and I appreciate that also cutscenes are in real time and you can interact with them at all times even changing many possible outcomes based on your actions and observations just think about that for a second people that's how much depth there is to this game also, when you're in your apartment, you can choose to take a shower, watch commercials on your TV, go into your weapons room to load out or craft items, as well as go to sleep to rest and skip time, which is pretty cool. Also, if you don't intervene with Jackie when he's arguing with a Maelstrom ganger, it is said that things go down early. And this is just probably one instance of like I mentioned earlier, that things can change based on your actions and observations, which is pretty cool. And also guys, to end, when you open up your map and press that legend button, these are the categories you can see on that map. Gun for Hire, Search and Recovery, Thievery, Agent Saboteur, SOS, Merc Needed, Special Delivery, Assault in Progress, Cyber Psycho Sighting, NCPD Scanner Hustles, Clothing Stores, Ripper Ducks, Netrunner, Techie, Weapons and Gun Shops, Trainers, Food and Restaurants, Bars, V's Apartment, Main Quest, Side Quest, Travelling Dealer, Convoy, Fixer, Client, Suspected Organised Crime, Unauthorised Access, Reported Crime, Smuggling Activity, Prostitute, Junk Shop and Lockers. So there's a ton on your map people. Now no doubt these won't all appear straight away. The more you progress through the game and through the story and through Night City, the more you will get on your map. And there's probably even more things you'll find. So you also know as well that you can be driving around the city and there can be random loot stashes that pop up too, which could see yourself earning that epic loot. But yeah guys, those were 10 things I feel you needed to know about Cyberpunk 2077. Now before we end the video guys, let me tell you about my giveaway. So I'm giving away copies of this game on every platform. To be with a chance of winning one, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, make sure you are subbed. The more of my Cyberpunk videos I see you are supporting, the more of a chance you will have of me picking you to win. And I will announce winners a week before this game comes out. So just in case you do not win, you have time to pre-order. 
or get that download pre-installed. And hopefully I announce the winners within the first week of December because as we know this game releases or is set to release on December 10th. But we will see guys. But yes I hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like it really helps out and hopefully people I will see you on that next one.